Welcome back to Dewberry's Day. Today on Dewberry's Day, it's a technical video. I've always wanted to play PC games on my Mac, so that's what we're going to do. Let's go, guys. So I've had my Mac for a little while, um, and Mini Dubes and I sometimes play on computer games. We play games like Counter Strike and Skyrim, those kind of things. And I've been wondering if it's possible to play some of those games on the Mac. Um, done some investigations, and I found something called Wine. But yeah, I've also found something called Porting Kit. Now, Porting Kit brings together Wine and a load of other applications, and it simplifies the installation, configuration, and playability of these games. Um, I happen to use Steam, so I've got my games listed on there. But I'm going to take you through setting up Skyrim, because that's you know, one of my favouritest games, um, through the porting kit, configuring it, downloading it, and running it on my Mac. Hopefully that's going to be useful for some of you guys, because once you've done it just on Skyrim, you can do it on other applications and games too. Let's get to it, guys. So, let's get into porting kit, and let's get into installing porting kit on the Mac. Um, if you go to the portingkit.com slash in slash download, uh, I'm in the European country, uh, I've got Mac OS Mojave, so I'm going to download Porting to Kit on Mac OS 10.8 Plus. There's legacy ones here, 10.6 Plus, and quite simply download the Porting Kit to the desktop. Now I've already done that, it's on the desktop here. Um, I'll just close this off, and I will then double click and install the Porting Kit. Once the Porting Kit has been installed, you'll see there's some updates here. Um, what we have is news, uh, library, uh, rankings, community, and help. Um, the first thing that we're interested in is the library. You've got both the local, i.e. the files that you've got installed or the games that you've got installed, and the server, which is the games that can be installed. You can change this up here using this uh, little clip button here. You can see little icons of what games can be installed and can be run on your Mac or you can change it to the lines and you can see on the side here you've got white, you've got green, uh, purple and blue. Um, the purple ones you have to buy and it takes you off to the site to buy that particular game. So this one takes you to GOG.com and you can buy it or you can log in if you've already got an account here and already purchased it and you can install it. Um, for this demo I'm going to install Skyrim and get that running on Mac OS. Okay, so we want to install Skyrim. Um, what we can do, you can either click on this little box here, uh, just get out of Airplane Tycoon, and you can scroll through and find Skyrim, which will take you forever. You can click on this uh, little list here and scroll down the Elder Scrolls and find it that way. Or you can type in the search bar, which is probably the easiest way. So the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, um, the first thing you have to do, it tells you here about texture packs, tells you about what versions you've got. Um, there's two ways you can install it. You can hit the install button or you can do an advanced installation. Now, what this does, it, ste it steps you through the install steps, which is probably the easiest way of doing it, to be honest with you. So click on advanced install, uh, click on next, uh, yes to the agreement. It's downloading the WSI, which is the wine skin something or other. Um, and basically that allows you to install a PC version of the game inside of the Mac. Uh, hit next, confirms the requirements, I'm just going to install it to the default location and it starts downloading uh, Wineskin, the master wrapper and a few other parts. So now Skyrim as a game is quite large, it's a bit 12 gig in size. So I'm not going to have you guys sitting here waiting and watch me install 12 gig of data because that would absolutely take forever. But the general principle is the same. Um, you find the game that you want to install. Um, I have it to be linked into Steam on this, and I've already purchased Skyrim on Steam. Um, you then come into the search area. You then click on the more in advanced section, which is what I've done here. And then it takes you through the various steps. Now, at one point, this is going to be downloading uh, the actual main files. And that's 12 gig, as I mentioned. And that's going to take a while. So I'll leave this running through for the moment. Um, and then what I'll do, once that's installed, I'll show you actually playing the game. And it's quite simple. As you can see at this point, it's trying to install Steam in the background. 
Um, this is really important because a lot of our games are installed via Steam. So I'm going to follow the Steam install. So click Next, English, Next. I'm going to install it to the standard Steam directory. And I'm going to run Steam. There we go. The installation was successful. You should be able to launch the app by pressing the Play button in the library or by double-clicking the app directly in the Finder. So let's close that. Okay, so we've done the install. Um, now let's hit the play button. As you can see, it's going to update Steam, first time I've used it. And this is, happens on the PC as well, so this is all very normal. So it's trying to run Steam on the Mac. So some updates here, 172,000 kilobyte update. Just quickly let that run through. Nearly done. So I plug into my account and I'll just log in here. I have to go and pick up my email with my uh, my code, so I'm just going to stop the video here. Okay, that's Steam now installed. Let's go to the porting kit. Uh, let's go to the library, and let's click on the Elder Scrolls. Start that up, and if I move this to the background, you should see, there we go, Steam just starting. Close the Steam News, and let's find the Elder Scrolls, and let's install it. Now, once you click on that, you can see it installs to the default part. This is quite large, so I'm not going to have you guys waiting, but I do need to download all of the installation files. As you can see, it's now going to install on my Macintosh. So I'll get that started, and then once it's installed, I'll come back and show you it running. Okay, 6.7 gig out of 6.8 gig downloaded. It'll be ready in a second, uh, and then once that's done, we'll start playing. Here we go, all downloaded. Let's hit the play button. Oh, can't find the runtime. I think it's got to install DirectX. Let's quickly let it do that. First time I've run it. So it says here, in some cases after downloading Skyrim, the .NET installation will freeze. Open the task manager available in the wrapper menu and in the porting kit, all button. Okay guys, it took me a little while to figure this out. Um, when you go into the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, I wasn't able to actually start the game. Um, what I want to share with you is what it says here uh, about the installation. But if the .NET installation freezes, what you need to do, and it's about opening up the task manager. And I've looked on these menus up here, I couldn't find it. What I did find was, under this more button, You've got the wine skin tools and the task manager, and that's where you go to get hold of the task manager to kill the setup to exit, which is what it refers to here. So let's uh, hit that play button, let's get connected into Steam, and then what I will do is if it starts the Donna installation, I'll show you how to uh, cancel that by going to the wrapper menu. Uh, if not, you'll see that Skyrim actually starts working. So let me just do that. Okay, here goes Steam, close this off. Go to the library, that's all looking good. Let's wait for this to, to load up. Okay, we've got the error again there. So I'll now hit play. And ta -da! Skyrim is now working. Um, so I'm going to hit play. I don't know if this will record it in QuickTime. Uh, if not, I'll do some screen recordings um, from inside uh, the porting kit. But let's have a go. And let me show you it working. Again, I'm not sure whether you can see this. So if it doesn't, then I will do some screen recording uh, outside of this, this particular um, product. So I'll just hit continue. I'll just say, yeah, continue from last save game. As you can see, it's loading. Graphics look pretty good. Um, you used to be able to swipe these things around, but I don't know if you can anymore. And there we go. So there is now Skyrim. It has on. been an honor, Jarl. A little bit jumpy because I haven't set up the graphics card yet, but it's now working on my Apple Mac. Riverwood. So let's uh, come out of here. And I think it said it would crash, didn't it? And I suppress Windows Q. 
So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been useful to you, showing you how to download a porting kit, and I'll do a link down below, um, how to configure Wine, how to download your games and applications off of Steam, and, and obviously getting them working. We also showed you some of the sort of tricks and tips and the, the difficulties about configuring games, like where to find a task manager and whatnot. Um, and that basically allows you to play your Steam games on your Mac. Now, there is a limited um, limited list of games that you can play, and once you've installed the porting kit, it will show you under the server list the games that you can download and play. I hope that's been useful to you. If it is, give me a thumbs up, because at least it allows me to judge that these videos are useful to you guys out there. Um, give me some comments if you'd like to see more technical videos of this nature. Um, we've got some more videos coming up in the future. We've got the workshops which are finalising their build this weekend. Um, we're going to be installing the solar panels in the coming weeks. We're going to show you how to rig all of that up. Um, we've also got drill presses and tooling coming so we can actually make some more swords. Uh, lots of other videos coming your way. Anyway, hopefully you found it useful, guys, and I look forward to seeing you next week on Debris Day. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.